guys, this is a very, very low effort video, so I'm not even, I don't really care about the amount. I don't really care about the details, too. like, don't all the details matter and the semantics matter and stuff like that, but I don't really care about the, how do you say it, the actual details and everything. All the little details. I'm just gonna give you guys uh, an overall picture of how I feel about the situation. So Somalia, right? So I'm just reading the stuff here, and I'm looking at Somalia, and I'm thinking uh, I haven't really been. Uh, to be honest, like I don't really care about Somalia. Let's just let's not let's not bullshit and give you guys lies. I'm gonna tell you guys the truth because because you know I'm a, I'm an honest guy. So, you know, Somalia, you know, a lot of people and a lot of Somali people, they, you know, they're always like, oh, I'm not right, I'm not wrong, you're wrong. And they always point fingers. Somali people, they point fingers a lot. Like, they always point fingers. You're wrong, you're wrong, he's wrong, she's wrong. He's wrong, but they never take any responsibility for themselves. They're always like, oh, he's wrong, she's wrong, that person's wrong, she's wrong, he's wrong, that person's wrong. Like, it's never, maybe let me try to take a step back and think about the situation and try to analyze it from a, from a, from a perspective that's kind of neutral, or try to analyze the situation for what it really is and look at the facts instead of, trying to side with your Qabil and your tribe. And let me let me explain to you guys out there that don't know what Qabil is. Qabil means tribe, and tribe means lineage, and lineage means family. So Somalia really it's a it's a country where it's not really evolving. I would say that even though Siad Barre was definitely a terrible person, he killed so many people, he was a brutal dictator those are all facts. He killed a lot of people as well. And sad to say, obviously it's not it's not like no one's gonna really like me saying this, but the reality is I don't wanna say it. I don't wanna say it. I, I really don't wanna say it. But it seemed like the time Somalia was part of the Siad Barre regime was kind of better off. Even though, obviously, there's pros and cons to every situation. Everything is kind of nuanced and there's more details and, and there's this and there's that. It's hard to say also, looking back at it, that Siad Barre was the best time. But then looking at the whole picture, it's kind of like, okay, like, okay, at least... We had buildings, we had hospitals, we had schools and stuff like that. But he was a brutal dictator, so you also have to look at the other side of the coin. You have to look at both sides of the coin, man. Like, he was a brutal dictator, but he was also able to kind of bring somewhat of a cohesive country together and build something. But then when you take him out of the picture... You know, that's the thing. That's the thing. That's the problem with getting rid of a leader. You need to have a plan and you need to plan all the way to the end. Because say, for example, let's let's look at it from the context of the situation when it was in the Siad Burra time. And the people there were trying to get him out and oust him from power because he's this and that. Okay, once you get rid of Siad Burra, what do you do now? Do you try to find a new leader then after you kill him? Because now there's a power vacuum. And let me tell you guys what a power vacuum is. Typically a power vacuum is because there was a kind of a centralized power, power regime that held power over the whole country. So when that, once that power structure becomes fragmented and literally breaks apart, what happens is, what happens is, you see, what happens is there's a power struggle. Because there's so many different factions vying for power. Qabil, tribes, there's so many different factions vying for power in, that, in, in the country. And then there's going to be these tribal wars and this and that. So really, looking back, was it really the best option? You would say no, because it led to 
a civil war, a famine, crisis. So more people died indirectly because you ousted a brutal dictator. But then staying with a brutal dictator would not be a good idea because that would lead to more people dying. So it's kind of a nuanced take and it's something that's kind of complicated and complex that you would have to kind of think about. And, you know, I don't know. It's, it's something that you kind of have to think about. And I don't, I don't think Somalia will ever improve or change because we're fundamentally just people that are very, you know, I, I feel like I'm an exception to this rule, but that's because I also live in a westernized culture. Um, it has a lot to do with my childhood upbringing, blah, 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 and just my personality. But, man, I mean, dude, we have idiots running the country. Education's not enough. Like, it's just the place is just... I don't even know why I'm making this video. I'm making this video because I don't know. Why am I making this video?